I think safety is paramount here mm -hmm. because you're dealing with something that is it's tantamount to dynamite. It's explosive, it's large, and it can be destabilizing for people. And so if we emphasize safety, then we don't have to dictate how it's being done or under what context. I personally think that there's space for all manner of exploring this domain from microdosing to uh, taking a few grams of mushrooms and going out in the woods with your friends to dancing in a safe container where you can let loose and just experience the ecstatic bodily and mental aspects of it to uh, having a guided journey one-on-one -on -one with someone to mm -hmm. having a group ceremonial context to being completely by yourself and experiencing what's that what that's like i think that there's space for all of it and the key factor in all of that is safety and so this is why creating a cultural infrastructure for this stuff is so important and right. in cultures where this is embedded in their cultural fabric there you have the whole cultural continuity that understands what these things are that it's embedded in the entire function from when you're young you're attending ceremony you know through late age that you're not just having this experience like going on a retreat and then being sent off on your on your way to go back into your cubicle <laughs> every day next yeah. to the person that you can't stand it's like th there's a difference when we create a cultural context that allows for great safety because then we can really do our best to navigate around the potential dangers because again these things are incredibly powerful and they can be destabilizing so they must be approached with reverence rather than frivolously because when we approach them frivolously sometimes maybe it'll work out fine and sometimes you might get dragged down to the pits of hell for five or six hours and you know have a actually a traumatizing experience mm 